this road. And now it's stuck in my head. I can't, <laughs> I can't get it out of my head. And that should have been the title of the episode. The episode should have been called The Covent or should have been called Down the Witch's Road. And it's your boy Icon with another Marvel TV review for you going over that Agatha all along. Still hate the name. <laughs> Check it out. Here we go. And actually, what is the name of the actual episode? Circle Sue with Fate Unlock the Hidden Gate. Okay, <laughs> so uh, before we get started, hit that notification bell, like it or subscribe, and let's get started. So the episode starts where Agatha's getting dressed and she's getting ready to leave. And the, the teen boy that she had kidnapped, she basically told him, she was like, bro, you get the run of the house, I'm out this bitch. And then he told her, he was like, oh, take me with you down the witch's road. And then she was like, no. <laughs> but he asked, she asked him, she was like, this is the funny thing with the kid. She asked the kid, she was like, yo, what's your name? And he said his name and it didn't work. And she couldn't hear him. Every time he tried to say his name, his voice got muted and she couldn't see, she couldn't read his lips because like black lines went over his mouth. So this was like a weird thing. And because of that, and because she couldn't actually see or hear his name or where he came from, she was just like, you know what? It might actually be worth bringing your ass with me all along. But her whole thing was, she said, and even when they were in the car, they were driving in a car together. And then she was just like, you know, where are you from? And then he told her, her his whole life story, but she couldn't hear his life story because, again, he got muted. So every single time something regarding his identity gets brought up, it like some magic spell automatically mutes his voice and Agatha can't hear him. Now, Sean, the true comic book fan from Otakos and Geek, my podcast partner, one of my podcast partners, he thinks that the teenager is one of Wanda's sons. That is an interesting theory, but I don't think it's the case because then why would it just be one and not two? And those boys weren't even real. So why would it be one of the sons when the sons weren't real to begin with? But this weird, but this, 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 weird, this weird flamboyant teen, he also seems to be obsessed with going to the witch's road. So unless he's going to the witch's road to go find his mama, because that means Wanda actually is dead or something, unless he's going to the witch's road to find Wanda, I, I don't understand why he's going. But he basically told Agatha, he was like, yo, I'm a fan of yours. Like, I admire you and everything. Like, I want to learn from the best and this, that, and the third. But anyway, like I said, but, I don't, but because, he was, because he was one half of, of twins, I don't think it's him. Like, you know, the, the, the identity of this person has yet to be revealed, but we'll see what happens. But anyway, so now she needs to find the Covent, which is basically um, the witch's version of a gang, <laughs> like, like, a, like a book club. She has to find uh, four witches, because in order for you to go down the witch's road, you need to have a team with you, certain people that can do different things, like a potions person, like um, um, a clairvoyant, um, someone that's good with like blocking spells and an earther. So they go to the first person, like the first person, this, this old gypsy lady. And I felt like because they were doing the thing where it was like one black girl, one white girl, one Asian girl. I'm just like the last two people, one of them could have been Indian and the other one could have been Spanish. You could have just made it like a whole thing, like a whole like mixed thing, but they didn't. They ended up having, bringing in like two white women. So anyway, but the first person was a fortune teller and that would have been perfect. She could have been Egyptian. But the, um, the fortune teller, you know, she, you know she, she didn't want to do it at first because Agatha was just like, oh, she's like, I need you on my team. And then she was like, bitch, no. And then the magic, um, the magic cosmos, the magical universe um, summoned a parchment that had four names on it that are bound to be a part of Agatha's team as they go down the witch's road. Because this woman's name was on the paper, she was like, fuck it, I guess I got to join. They go to the second woman, which was this black woman who does a potion. She does potions, she does candles and like all this mystic perfumes. Agatha basically blackmailed all of them and joined it because, first of all, the fortune teller lady, she had um, a foreclosure notice on her door because apparently fortune teller ain't paying the bills. The potion lady, she was under investigation by the government because some of her products like burned people. The third girl was an Asian girl. She was the daughter of a mother who used to be a witch. And her whole thing was her mother actually went down the witch's well and she disappeared. So they told her, they was like, yo, just join our team and then we'll help find your mama. They got her fired from her job. And then she was like, fuck it, I might as well join you. And then the last person, like Agatha didn't want to go to the last person because in the last episode, the person, the old lady who hit the kid before Agatha arrested him and then started interrogating him, the old lady that hit him was the fourth and final member because it said that you also need like an earth bender, like an earth breeder, someone who's basically in tune with the earth and with the dirt and with the soil and mother nature. But 
this woman's name was on the list, but she's not a witch. Or at least we don't know that she's a, like, maybe she is a witch and she just doesn't know for whatever reason, but she doesn't know. Well, but, but as far as we're concerned, the audience was concerned, she's not a witch. Like, she's just some random lady that likes gardening. That's why she was like the earth person because she was a gardener. So Agatha brings all them together. They all come to the house and then they go downstairs. And then Agatha is just like, oh, we must sing the tune. And then we sing, when we sing them, you know, like the, the, the nefarious tune, a door will open that will allow us to go down the witch's road now in the last episode that fine ass witch who played the detective she told agatha that the sinister seven were coming to get her and throughout the entire episode whenever agatha would go to try to recruit somebody for the coven she would see random animals like she saw like a dog she saw like a like a rat she saw like a wolf whatever and she knew what those animals meant she knew those animals were there, you know, because they were coming to get her and because, like, there was a problem and they were going to, they were going to, you know, she was trying to avoid the whole thing, but she knew what it was. So then she brings all of them downstairs and now they have to sing this tune that the earth lady doesn't even know so they can open the door. Now, if I'm being 100% honest, the song was fire. I think they played the song at the end of the first episode, like in the end credits, but it was like some random dude singing the song. And I didn't really pick up on it, but I mean, I did, but I did it. But when the, when the women sang it, that shit was fire. Like, like, I'm not even gonna lie. Like they all came together, they sung in harmony. It was a nice ballad. I am going to see if I can find a way to download this song and use it as the intro outro music for my Agatha reviews going forward. So I guess I'm hooked on the show now. So, I mean, I am interested. I mean, first, like I said, whenever you have good music, you always like hook me in, but I'm not gonna lie. Like I am interested in the story. Like the story is interesting. Like I wanna see what happened. Cause the thing about it was all, with the exception of the earth lady, all four of those witches, all three of those witches or whatever, four, yeah, four count and Agatha and, and the kid, the, they don't they used to be witches they used to have power and they lost their power the whole thing with the asian girl her whole thing was she wants to find out what happened to her mother because her mother got lost on the rich on, on, on the on the witch's road so they're going there now to try to like regain the power that they once lost but they need each other in order to do it so they sing the song like i said like they sung it for a while and then after and while they're singing the song the sinister seven shows up and when the song was finished and completed, because they said that went, while they're singing the song, a door is supposed to open that will take them to the, to, you know, to the witch's road. They sung the entire song and the door never came. So then Agatha got pissed and then she was like, that's what I get for working with second rate hacks like you. She was like, wannabes, pretenders, never has been, wasted potential. She was like, all of you are pathetic. And then they got mad and they was like, bitch, like, you know, you don't want this smoke. And then, you know, she was like, go ahead, blast me with your power. Because Agatha said in order for her to get her power back, she, she has to be blasted by their power. So, but she was, so she was basically talking shit to them, hoping they would blast her and then she would get her power back. But they didn't, they didn't take the bait. And then while they were arguing, the door opened finally, and it opened on the floor. So then they all opened the door. The kid was the first one to run in it because the Sinister Seven was coming. He was like, yo, I ain't trying to stay for this smoke. So he ran down the, the witch's road. All of them went down. They closed the door behind them, and the door disappeared when the Sinister Seven broke in and tried to destroy the house. So now they're in the witch's road now, down the path. And if you ever played Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, and not Scarlet and Violet, um, Sword and Shield. If you ever play Pokemon Sword and Shield, and then you have to go to the forest to find the gym leader that has the fairy type Pokemon, and you're walking through the forest to try to get to the town, that's what this shit reminded me of. <laughs> like, when we got to the Witch's Road, it reminded me of that sixth gym in Pokemon Sword and Shield. So, but it's, it's, it's interesting, um, they took their shoes off, you know, before they entered the Witch's Row out of respect, and then after um, Agatha called them has-beens, hacks, and losers, she was like, well, now that we're here, I knew you guys could do it all along. <laughs> like, we're the perfect team. And then um, they marched on. Now they're going down the witch's road. So we'll see what happens in episode three. That was how this particular episode ended. And thank you for tuning in. Yeah, so I, I want to see what happens. Um, I, I do want to see the origin of this kid to find out who the hell this kid is. You know, see what happens with that. I definitely want to see if we do get a Wanda Maximoff, you know, like cameo in the finale or whatever the case may be. Or if we get any sort of like, you know, Avengers or some sort of maybe Doctor Strange. Who knows? But I said, I, I'm, I'm down. Like, I'm, I'm actually down for this. I said, I didn't give a damn about no 
know about no Agatha all along. And they've managed to find a way to like hook me and get me in with some great music and a lot of suspense. So share any questions, comments, and or concerns. Hit me up on X. Hit me up on Instagram. Always on YouTube and TikTok where you can leave your comments and concerns and all your questions. Let me know what you thought about episode two of Agatha all along as we go down the witch's road. So that was it, guys. So thanks for tuning in. Until next time, down the witch's road. We'll see you again for some more action. Until then, we're out this. Oh,